Well, it started just like any other Monday. I said, good morning, Mark. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Kisan. And then walk into my space. Kisan. He was one of those people that was a quiet spirit. He was a person that was kind and gentle. And he would always have a smile on his face and a twinkle in his eye. Then everything changed. That sounds like a weapon being fired. And so we got down, dropped down to the, to the ground, and I crawled to my desk and I got my cat card or my purse. As soon as I grabbed my purse, I looked over to Kisan's desk and I saw that he was down and um, there was a wound in his head. I took the paper towel and I put it against the wound and um, I felt him breathe. And I was praying over him and talking to him and I felt for his pulse and it was strong and I told Andy that we needed to go get help. So we went out the emergency door. Um, they took us to the street. We realized that we couldn't get an ambulance there. So um, there was an unmarked vehicle at the end of the street. The unmarked vehicle came down the street and we got keys on in the back of the seat and then I got in the front and we lights, sirens, and we made our way to M Street, M Street, New Jersey, in front of the CVS. We laid Keyson down and I told the security guard that I need an ambulance and he coordinated with the policeman that was on the street directing traffic and I went back to Keyson. There was no pulse at the time. So I immediately started chest compressions. I didn't find out later on that he didn't make it until we got home to this area. I was a hospital corpsman for five and a half years. Sometimes in an emergency situation, it's not all about what's going on. It's about what you can do to help. And I think that that training is what helped me in the end, um, in the end for Kisan, but it stays with you, it doesn't leave you. Once you've been in the Navy, that doesn't leave you, it's like a part of your life. You don't want any harm to come to your fellow shipmates. And so Kisan was a Navy family person and I looked at him as my shipmate. I could not leave him behind. You don't leave your family behind.